I'm just too busy. Do you find yourself saying that? Maybe not. Do you find yourself thinking that? Quite possibly. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk to you about doing this one thing to maximize what you find yourself able to accomplish. Because do I have more time than you? Am I over here accomplishing things because I have more time than you? Probably not. We all have the same 24 hours. There are people that I know that really inspire me to accomplish more. And I pick up tips from them. <laughs> because that's how I want to live. I don't want to live with excuses of like, I don't have time because that doesn't even serve me. If I just say like, oh, I don't have time for this, like, I would love to do that, but I don't have time. Then I just stay where I'm at. So why, why continue to dream about this fictitious land you would like to go to of like the land of your dreams? Why keep thinking you're going to achieve that life if you never take, if you never take steps toward that? So I want to tell you just one step. If you will just do this one step, I can guarantee that you will, I'm going to take these airpods. I forgot the morning. I always coach with AirPods in, so everything they say is confidential. I'm obviously in a room by myself anyway, um, and so I can just deeply focus on them. So in there. Um, but what makes you if if you if you will do this one thing, I can guarantee you will begin to achieve your dreams. There's like no way around it that if you will just do this. So I have something that I call the massive action plan. Now, I learned how to do this in the 21 Day Mom Fog Challenge. And when, uh, hold on, I'll go to that in a minute. But I learned how to do this. So you create this like splat list and you just write down like all the things that you think you need to accomplish or that you want to accomplish in a day. Like, okay, so say it's like Sunday night and I'm thinking about Monday. So I write all those down and then... I created a time because you have to figure out where and when. First, you have to figure out what you want to do. Then you have to figure out where and when you're going to do it. So I have this little handy thing that I just write timestamps on everything. I just estimate how long it's going to take and I overshoot it by a little bit. And usually I do well to overshoot it by a lot since I have four small children because interruptions happen. And I don't, I don't want to ever feel like I can't take their interruptions and I'm frustrated with them because I can't get to this. But this keeps me on track. So what I have is here like 540, wake up call. 550 is walk in affirmations. 615, lift weights. 7 o'clock, I've got BPC. And you're probably like, what in the world is BPC? It's Bible prayer and creation journal. Um, then I have on here 730, get dressed and do makeup. Um, contact one of my clients at eight o'clock. 815 is CEC. What in the world is CEC? That's cookie clean. <laughs> I realized I would cook and then sometimes like I would cook for the kids and I wouldn't eat. Um, or sometimes we I would cook and we would eat and I wouldn't clean up. So now I just know it's cook, eat, clean. They go together. We don't move on until we've cooked and eaten and cleaned. Then watch my like 21 day mom fog challenge um thing for the day. Uh, learning time with the kids. I've got that at 9.15. 10 o'clock is chores and outdoor play for them. 10 o'clock is planned meals for the week. 10.30 is my grocery list. 11 o'clock, oh, there's a blank spot. Yes, leave blank spots in your day. That way, if you get off track, you don't get too discouraged because you're going to get off tra track. And then also, something may come up throughout the day and you're like, oh, I could do that at 11 o'clock and I have a blank space at 11 o'clock. So I am learning to do more blank spaces in there, but just enough. Then 1130 is cookie clean again. 1215 is upstairs tidy for the kids. Like they're tidying upstairs while I am cleaning uh, or cooking. Um, and then 1230 is like Melania's nap and read to the boys. And then one o'clock is Martin's nap and chill time for me. And then 130 is like social media work. Uh, two o'clock is shed cleanup. Two thirty is yard tidy. Three o'clock is fifteen minutes of fun with the kids because they're up from naps by then. Three twenty was chill time. Four o'clock was cookie clean again. And in the meantime, I I do this was not a twenty one day mom fog challenge tip. This was a Claire tip. <laughs> this is your bonus. Um, 
I will sometimes, if I do extra things that I didn't think to put on my map for the day, my map stands for massive action plan. Um, then I write those down. So at the bottom, it's like, oh, I got a shower. I set up my Zoom. I, um, I did my evening routine. I looked out my outfit for the next day. Um, I set up my, my Zoom uh, coaching call area for the next day. Um, I charged my earbuds. Um, do you hear how much I did in a day? Then I go back and if I didn't do it, I circle it. So there was this little block in the afternoon that I didn't do social media work or clean up the shed or tidy up the yard or do 15 minutes of fun. Ugh, hard to admit. Um, and I did not meal plan that day. But look, that equates to like less than a quarter of what I did for the day, less than a quarter of what I planned for the day. And then I did extra. So I don't really feel that bad about it. Then, okay, so... I did that, but then I joined Mom Mastery University and they sent me my own planner for free. So I it has a place to do the map in there. So let me turn it around here. I will show you this. Um, and so there's where I do my my basically like the actions I need to do. This is where I fill in the time slots. Then there's like um a place for notes. Those were some supplements I needed to pick up. They have a place to write out your AM, whoops, your AM routine and your PM routine. And then check off the box, um, meal plan for the day. And then there's a really nice like journaling thing where it's like, what do I need to release to God today? I needed to release control. Um, what am I grateful for today? Hearing my children giggle and laugh as they play outside, which in fact was an answer to one of my affirmations that I've been speaking over my life. Um, what am I hearing from God today? Peace. It's all good. So it's like this very quick little journal section. Um, my success today, I enjoyed and was present with my kids between, um, I think this, uh, yeah, between counseling, no, not counseling, between coaching responsibilities. Uh, my challenges today were, Mm, something balance and priorities prioritize myself and my family. Um, did I invest in my personal growth today? Check. Did I invest in the growth of others? Check. Okay. Do you see how like you don't have to have this planner? This planner is handy. This way of journaling or not journaling, but planning my day is handy. Just find something that works. But I would really recommend this massive action plan that I just showed to you because you're thinking you don't have time, but it's because you're not prioritizing your time. Like, when I prioritize my time, I get so much done. Like, so much done. I mean, that's why I'm on this video is because I prioritize my time. So, I just, I want to leave you with a challenge that, do you have enough time? Yes. So, if you, I want you guys to drop how you guys prioritize your time. Do you find yourself prioritizing your time or just kind of going with it? Like in the comments is where you can just kind of leave that like, <sighs> yeah. If you're not prioritizing your time, leave an emoji that tells me you're not prioritizing your time. And if you are prioritizing your time, please tell us how, because I am always up for like any kind of tips on prioritizing time, not just for myself, but also to share with clients because I know it works for me, but it does help to be creative to like, oh, I have a friend that says like she does this and they're like, oh yeah, that would work. So anyway, we do mindset, sh mindset shift first in coaching and then we move on to action steps. So don't ever get that confused. In coaching, we don't just like talk about what you should do next. First, we have to figure out why you're not doing that. So anyway, that's my um, little call to action right now, y'all, is drop that emoji like if you're not prioritizing your time. And if you are, share in a comment. So have a wonderful day. I'm just going to turn this around so you can see what I see. There's my fire pit and my chairs and the beautiful sky and the leaves are changing. We've got some gorgeous color just starting. So have a wonderful day.